Foucault's pendulum is, in my opinion, one of the best pieces of evidence to show that the Earth is spherical. But alas, the flat earthers still can't grasp exactly why that is. And Mitchell from Australia is on a mission to show that it doesn't prove rotation at all, and in actual fact, proves that the Earth is stationary. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Raycon. When you are looking for a gift that everyone needs, Raycon is the way to go. Their wireless earbuds, headphones and speakers offer premium sound, useful features and almost custom comfortable fit and up to 54 hours of battery life. And as the person getting them, you've got to love that they start at half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus, Raycon makes it easy with holiday gift guides for everyone in your life. Your mum, dad, sibling, best mate, whatever. Or knock that list all off at once and get 30% off by shopping Raycon holiday bundles. Now, as a fitness freak, I don't think you can go wrong with the all-star bundle, which gives you the everyday earbuds plus some fitness earbuds. Therefore, that to the gym, at the gym, after the gym type scenario. You can find Raycon in stores now like Coles or Walmart. But let me tell you right now, you're always going to get the best deals if you use my special link, buyraycon.com slash simandan. And the Raycon website also offers buy now, pay later options. Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash simandan and use the code EARLYBF to get 20% off site-wide. Or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. There'll also be different deals coming through the holiday season, but I will try and keep the description box updated with all the latest offers. But just so you know, you can always go to buyraycon.com slash simandan to get the best deal available for Raycons. Right, back to today's video, which as I said at the start, is about the brilliant Foucault's pendulum. You see, a Foucault's pendulum, if done correctly, will pretty accurately tell you your latitude on the Earth's surface. This means that you can go to similar latitudes in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere and get the exact same result. Wonderful proof that the Earth is indeed a ball. In fact, keep listening to the end of the video where you can hear about potentially one of the biggest community experiments ever. But Mitchell from Australia has other ideas and thinks he can prove a stationary Earth with this pendulum. Let's see him try, shall we? Wow. We are here today at Science Space to observe this Foucault pendulum. The GLOBE model claims that this device can be used to demonstrate the Coriolis effect and therefore prove that Earth is rotating. As I said before, it's beautiful proof and not necessarily of rotation, but the fact that the Earth is a ball. Let's explore what the GLOBE claim actually is. What is happening? As the pendulum swings back and forth, the Earth is rotating. An astronaut in space watching a pendulum at the North Pole would see the direction of the pendulum remain the same, but the Earth would turn below it once every day. We are standing on the rotating Earth, therefore we see the pendulum change direction. Absolutely true, yes, a pretty slow but very accurate 15 degrees per hour. A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks Bob. We are not at the North Pole. So our pendulum takes more than one day to complete a full rotation. A pendulum actually rotates slower the closer you move to the equator. At the equator itself, it doesn't rotate at all. The diagram in the bottom left represents what the globe claims a pendulum will do at the North Pole, in Paris, and at the equator. Absolutely, and of course the beauty of this is that anyone, and I mean anyone, can reproduce these results. Again, hold out to the end of the video, guys. Being here in Sydney, we should observe the pendulum rotate 202 degrees in 24 hours. In the top left, we are also given an activity to do. What to do? Work out which domino is going to be knocked over next. The pendulum will appear to move counterclockwise. And being in Sydney, the globe claims that the pendulum will process at a rate of 8.5 degrees per hour counterclockwise. So let's put this to the test, shall we? 
So it looks like Mitchell is going to use the pendulum at Science Space near Sydney to try and corroborate the globe claims. Love it when they say that. This is the starting position of the pendulum. The globe predicts it will process counterclockwise 8.5 degrees after one hour, knocking over the dominoes with the blue X's, 17 degrees after two hours, knocking over a further two dominoes in purple, 25.5 degrees after three hours, taking out another two dominoes in green, and 34 degrees after four hours. We will be observing this focal pendulum for four hours, so the globe predicts we will see a total deviation of 34 degrees and a total of six dominoes on each side be knocked over. Okay, great, this all sounds very exciting. Let's hope the pendulum delivers the results we are looking for to put Mitchell in his place. But it does make you think, would Mitchell be publishing this video if it did? Hmm. Beginning the observation at 9.11 a.m. This is the starting position of the pendulum. The globe predicts it will deviate counterclockwise. Now, I'm slightly suspicious that three of those dominoes are down already. And either side of the starting point, it makes me feel like it's broken or something. Ah well, trust the process. At 10.11 a.m., this is what we observe in the pendulum. The globe predicted that the pendulum should have deviated 8.5 degrees in that first hour, but it is still on the same starting position. At 11.33 a.m., we see the pendulum still in the starting position. Okay, well, I do have some points, but let's continue. The globe predicted after two hours, it should have deviated 17 degrees and knocked over the dominoes highlighted. 10 past 12 p.m., and the pendulum is still in the starting position. After three hours, the globe predicted it would have deviated 25.5 degrees. And finally, at 1.16 p.m., the pendulum is still yet to show any sign of deviation. The globe claimed after four hours, it should have deviated 34 degrees and knocked over a total of six dominoes on each side. So what is the conclusion that we can draw from this observation? First off, four hours is a hell of a long time just to wait around. Interesting that you don't supply us with some sort of proof of the time at the location of the pendulum rather than just the time on your phone. Additionally, you said the first video was taken at 9.11 a.m but the Science Space website states it does not open until 10 a.m. Now, all of this, of course, doesn't mean that you fabricated the results, but it also means you can't really trust them either. Let's formulate a modus tollens valid logical argument. If P, then Q. Not Q, therefore not P. And just to confirm, this is the claim of the globe that we are standing on the rotating Earth, therefore we see the pendulum change direction the modus tollens argument will be as follows. If the earth we're standing on is rotating, then we will see the pendulum change direction. From the observations of the pendulum for four hours without any deviation, we can then conclude we don't see the pendulum change direction. Therefore, earth is not rotating. So the next time someone claims that the Foucault pendulum proves that earth is rotating, point them to this video and just let them know. The Foucault pendulum proves Earth is stationary. Okay, but you're taking the results from one pendulum, which may or may not be working correctly and may or may not have been videoed correctly. So let's put this one to bed once and for all, shall we? Now, I am looking for uh, volunteers who are able to do their own Foucault's pendulum uh, experiment from their home. Ideally, I'd like as many people as possible spread over as many latitudes as possible. So, 
as many as we can from south all the way to as many as we can to as far north as possible. The closer we can get to the North Pole, the better, and the closer we can get to the South Pole, the better, and as much as we can in between two. Now, if you're interested in that and you think you can make it work, then please do drop me an email at simandan at gmail.com and make the subject Pendulum Experiment Volunteer. Thanks very much, everyone. If we get enough volunteers, we will prove Mitchell wrong in a big way. Right, well, there it is for another Flat Earth Friday. I do hope you enjoyed watching today. Uh, this one could be really, really big if we get enough people. I do hope so. Remember, email me if you think you can do it. Thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated as always. Uh, if you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing to the channel uh, and liking it as well, the video in particular you've just watched, of course. And if you really enjoyed it, please do consider sharing the video too. Just enough time to once again thank Raycon for sponsoring today. Remember, visit buyraycon.com slash simandan to get 20% off site-wide using the code earlybf, of course, or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. I've been Simon and Dan, have yourselves a great weekend and I'll see you all on Tuesday for the return of Mandela Effect Danny from Texas. See you then. <laughs>